Hi class, welcome back. I'm Matt Fisher, and today we're gonna go over a lump sum purchase journal entry. So in a lump sum purchase, what's happening is we're purchasing a group of assets for one price. So in my example, we're purchasing building, land, and equipment for $500,000, right? But now remember, we need to separate this between the building, land, and equipment because each of those items depreciate differently. So we can't just have one big you know, lump sum amount of 500,000. We have to allocate that $500,000 sales price or purchase price between those three assets so that we can depreciate each one of those differently. So how do we do that? And we're gonna look at the relative market value for each of these. So for the relative market value, I'm gonna be using the appraised value. So we've got the appraised value for the building, 350,000, the appraised value for the land, 140,000, the appraised value for the equipment, 210,000. So I've got a total appraised value of 700,000. Remember, we're buying it for 500,000, so we're gonna get a pretty good deal here, right? But here are our appraised values. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, take the percentage of the total for each of these. So. For example, 350,000 divided by, and I'm knocking off the three zeros, 350,000 divided by the 700,000 gets us 50%. So 50% of the value is the building. And then 140,000 divided by the total of seven, uh, 700,000 gets us a percentage of 20% being the land and then 210,000 divided by 700,000 gets us 30% of the value going to the equipment. So my total is 100%. So now I've got these percentages and this is how I'm going to now allocate that purchase price to each of these assets. So remember the purchase price was 500,000 and 50% of that is the building. So 50% of 500,000 is $250,000. That's what I'm going to record as the uh, amount that we paid for the building. The land, we're gonna take 500,000, the total cost of this purchase times 20% of that is gonna be allocated to the land. So 20% is 100,000. And then lastly, we're gonna take 30%, whoops, 30%, which is 150,000, will be allocated to the equipment. So let's total these up. They do total up to my 500,000. So this is the price that I'm paying for my assets, all right? So this is how you do a lump sum purchase and allocating the the price to each of the assets, all right? So we're paying 500,000. We need to allocate that 500,000 between our three assets. So we're gonna do it based off of the relative market value. And in this case, we do have appraised value. So this needs to be given to us. So we've got our appraised value. So we're able to find out, well, what percentage is each of these assets to the total appraised value? And that's how we got the 50, 20, and 30. And then we multiply those percentages by our purchase price in order to get the amount that will go to each asset. And now on the screen, you can see the journal entry that would be recorded uh, for this purchase of these assets. All right, we're going to debit our building 250,000. We're going to debit our land 100,000. We're going to debit our equipment 150,000. Debit our equipment 150,000 and then our credit will be for the full 500,000 and it will either be to cash or probably to a note payable because we probably um, had to borrow in order uh, to purchase this. We probably have a loan on this, okay? All right, class, I hope this has helped. Good luck in accounting and I hope to see you back in future videos.